Hi my loves! So today it's all about my carousel and restock of this. First up I go for this one which I already exchanged. This is Prada Candy. I haven't used this once. This is a caramel but it's very benzoin, milky benzoin sweet. Um, I don't think it smells like candy per se, maybe some special candy but the benzoin makes it a little bit weird dish. Um, I like it, but yeah, I didn't wear it once, so this is going. And instead I put Prada Candy uh, by night on the carousel. This is the same scent, just chocolatey. I really like the chocolate note. It's more like a cacao chocolatey um, kind of scent. I really like it. And it's in here with my new <laughs> Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. This I also like. It's a very fresh, fruity, like a very sweet, super juicy fruit juice. It's like Dolce Gabbana light blue, but juicier and sweeter. I like it. Although I still think it smells like I had a men's cologne, like Dolce Gabbana light blue. I find it very masculine. And then I put something sweet on top. But yeah, I like this one. Um, next up, Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. I leave it on here. It's got a coffee note. I didn't know what it was before, but it smells like ice cream, like vanilla pistachio ice cream to my nose. It's got something nutty in here and it's white floral. It's a little bit like um, black opium. A black orchid. It's a little bit like black orchid, but much easier to digest. It's a, a lovely scent. I like it. It's oriental, it's vanilla, it's creamy, but it's got some oriental spice. Speaking of spice, this is D Square Wand. I really like this one too. It's a bit like Kayali 28, the vanilla 28, but this one is more spicy because it's got a, a ginger kick note. Next up, La Nuit Trésor. Oh, yeah, I keep those. Um, Au Trésor, la, la Nuit, I don't know <laughs> um, which way around. This one smells like a strawberry shisha and I really liked it so long. And I'm glad I didn't get a backup because I stopped wearing it and I wasn't sure why. So recently I wore it out and then the strawberry note really got on my nerves. So, yeah. I think this will go from the carousel for now. Olympia Legend, I really like to smell it. It's plum, salty caramel, very thick, heavy, bit obnoxious, nice, but I didn't wear it either, so that goes for now. I bought a Frederico Mahora on Depop, and this is the dupe to Achillean rolling in love this i must say i really <laughs> i really like it but it's very almondy and i think this sticky cake by um comme de garçon it's also very almondy and although they smell different they vibe similar and i can't really smell them so it I do smell them, but it's it's nothing that is memorable for me. So I like this one. This stays on for now. Um, that was Sticky Cake by Comme de Garçon. And this by Kilian Rolling in Love. I leave it on. I will try it a bit more. I see what my nose makes out of it. But for now, it smells like white flowers and um, and almond. And I'm not so much a fan of white flowers, so I don't know. Next up on here is um, Mon Paris. This is the Intensement version. This is a berry version of a Fruit Julie. Perfect girly scent. I will try this again, but I think I will give it away to someone younger. I think this is a very young scent. Not that I wouldn't wear a young scent, but this is 
like a sugary girly kind of uh, kind of scent it's not my style i try again because i love the berry note but yeah next up dolce gabbana the only one too <laughs> funny name um i like it i didn't wear it that much but i leave it on because i like it a lot and if i go out in the evening i like to wear this so that stays on um that's a berry coffee very nice a little similar to um black opium but i prefer this one. this one dolce gabbana the only one one <laughs> the only one um i didn't like it at all but now i actually do it's also white floral it's got a coconut note and a green apple and i smell both of them them and i really like it so i would wear this out also next up amani si fiore i use this a lot this is my thumb reach like as uh, some youtubers here say nothing groundbreaking very smooth powdery sweet fruity bit like um kilian's love don't be shy but less marshmallowy a little bit more fruity i like it a lot it's really nice it's a shame that they discontinued this version because this was my favorite definitely uh, next up hugo boss private accord this smells like a chocolate orange mm, i really like it i'm not so keen on this vanilla the vanilla in here smells a little bit cheap cheap is harsh but there are certain types of vanilla and this smells a little cheap it's a similar one like in Cassili. i think this is also something that it doesn't smell expensive i don't know i like i like them both but the vanilla is kind of body spray vanilla um yeah not so body spray vanilla a bit more expensive is this terracotta by galan that is a powdery vanilla very nice i mixed it with um all sorts of other scents and i will probably continue to do so so this also stays on my carousel next <laughs> la nuit trésor nude this i really like it's a it's a sugary coconut girly sunscreen version it smells like a flanker to Lancome's Idole and I will not keep it on here because I haven't reached for it and maybe in the summer that's a going out scent in the summer for me uh, yeah I just didn't reach for it since I got the big bottle typical <laughs> next one cardamom coffee by Lush I will definitely keep this on this is one of my favorite coffees it's discontinued i don't know why it, it doesn't last long and it was extremely expensive so i don't know if this sold well but yeah i just love it this coffee note is like a sweet uh, have you ever drunk a cardamom coffee you can get that um in uh, middle eastern shops it's already mixed like cardamom and coffee already together and then they make it very sweet it's oh it's lovely this is how it smells very yummy scent uh, Les Notes Gourmand by Reminiscence this is what is this which one Trajé yeah Trajé and this this smells like love don't be shy it's really nice powdery marshmallow vanilla really nice lovely I keep it on here. Van Cleef and Apples Orchidee Vanille. This is one of my favorite vanillas. I always say it's very light and very petally. Um, but I think it it is light. But I smell the co uh, the cacao now. And I didn't really pick up on this before. So yeah, um, it's not that light, and it actually lasted quite a while on my clothes so i will keep this on here definitely it's one of my favorites then on the top floor 
Cheddar's 62 pistachio salted caramel. This is lovely. It's a thick, heavy vanilla. It's just, for me, it's just for mixing. I wouldn't wear it on its own. It's very, maybe in the summer, it, which is contradictory because it's so thick and it would be better in the winter, but this is, smells like beach, like these thick sunscreen, Tiroler Nussöl. I don't know if anyone's German knows this, but it reminds me a little bit of that. Then I already cheated and put this on because I wanted to wear this. Um, Oscar de la Renta, Oscar de la Renta, Bella Rossa. I can't speak Spanish at all, but yeah, I'll try it. And this is um, sweet raspberry vanilla, really lovely rose, um, raspberry, rose, vanilla. Ah, it's lovely, um, really nice. One of my favorites. I don't know why it got bad press. <laughs> it's not at all similar to Delina. I have Delina here and it's not at all a dupe, Delina. Yeah, who follows my channel? If you follow my channel, you know it's not one of my favorites. Despite popular view, um, I think it smells a little bit of gasoline or petrol. And yeah, I don't know. I just don't like the combination. Maybe it's the nutmeg that I find weird. I don't know. Uh, back to the carousel. Tom Ford Noir de Noir. I definitely keep this on. I'm afraid to empty this. I can open it, but I can't pull it out. So I can't see how much is left and it feels very light. So I'm afraid that this is goes off, uh, goes empty. Other than this one, uh, Lost Cherry, which I didn't wear that much. I'm not so crazy about this anymore. I wanted to have it. I needed to have it. I um, spent hundreds on dupes. <laughs> I didn't, but yeah, I bought a few dupes. And then I thought, let's just get the real thing, a small version, which is the equivalent to 600 pounds for 100 ml, which is absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, that goes off the carousel. This one I keep. This is Thierry Mugler Angel Muse. This is the EDT version. Smells of passion fruit and hazelnut. Very weird mix, but I love it. Very scratchy. Um, this comes back on. Hypnotic Poison. I didn't really reach for this. I think this is going to make space for something else I really like. Then in the middle, La Nuit Tresor à la Folie. I absolutely don't like this one. I think this smells super cheap. The vanilla in this is, this is really, oh, no, not, I don't know what it is. I love the other versions, but this is just a no for me. I tried. <laughs> Replica bubble bath. I love this. This smells exactly like a bubble bath. It stays a long time. It's a little bit mm, soapy, obviously, but yeah, it's a nice one. I keep this on here. Uh, Rouge Smoking by BDK. I keep this on here, although this is, people say cough syrup. We have in Germany, there is um, uh, there are sweets that you can only go get in the pharmacy. They're called, um, I think, M.Y. Karl or something. I, I don't know, I can't remember, but it's a little boy on the package and it's cherry drops. Uh, cherry, little round cherry sweets that have a little bit of cough medicine. And yeah, that's like, this reminds me of it, but... It's also got a very smoky, well, obviously, rouge smoking. Um, yeah, I like it. I keep it. This one, this is uh, Love Don't Be Shy, the original. Oh, it's lovely. I have this in, in um, because I only bought the decant version because it was cheaper, obviously. I put this in here and I take it 
when I go out sometimes in my handbag. Um, ah yeah, two more. Two more. Not many that I've gotten rid of, to be honest. This is a new purchase. This is uh, Donna by Trusadi. A lovely, fresh, zingy, leathery fragrance. I really like it. I got I got it cheaper and it's missing the the little sticker on the top but I got it from Notino so I know it's a real one and then my Valentino born in Roma mmm this is oh this is so good I just love it I don't know it's got pink pepper it's fresh I love it it's very it's like the bottle suggests, it's a little bit different and um, a little cool, not so girly, girly girly, not vanilla-y, it's really nice. And that's it. I have a box here from which I will pick and choose something to go on here. I might bring this one back, um, Carolina Herrera. Very good go. This reminds me of Angel Nova more than Delina, for which it is apparently a dupe. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm going to put it back on here and see if I wear it. This is like shopping my stash. It's really good. Next one. Which one? I have a few here, maybe I show you the box. <clears throat> um, Bold Afrique, I think maybe more when it comes to summer. Uh, La Petite Robe Noir. I don't like the licorice in here. It's very, and I got the biggest bottle. <laughs> Uh, Holy Peony by Christian Dior. This is a really nice rosy scent. I like that. Well, Peony, obviously, but yeah. Maybe I put this out. This I really like, Nina Ricci. This is also a raspberry vanilla. Um, yeah. And then I have Sandy Goya, Sandy Joya by Armani and Terra di Gioia by Armani. Which one? Mm, Terra is good. Sun. Mm. Um, I have to decide between these two. It's a race. Uh, then I have um, the Gimove. I bought them for the bottle mainly and they were really cheap. And I thought I need to get this one because it's a better dupe for Love Don't Be Shy before I had it, obviously, the original. But uh, I think they both smell similar. This smells more like mint tea in the beginning, in the opening. Uh, and Bulgari Omnia. This is my summer scent. It's a bit too cold for this. And um, Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. I really love it. It's a sweet praline. And it's got this super tart, tartness. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I put this out. Because I, I like, I like the tart feel of it. Then let me dive. Bulgari, I forgot what this was called, but oh, this is tropical. Oh, it smells so good. Very spa-like. Mmm, but maybe a bit too summery. Yeah, I think I keep this also for summer. There is more. Um, Private Show by Britney Spears. This is also nice. Coffee, 
That's like a latte. Hmm. Maybe. Those are summer scents. Uh, Dylan Turquoise, very summery. This one, I think I take this out again. I have no idea how to... It's like a gel, so I really don't like to smear it on my clothes. Or skin, but I like this smell. I like this scent. La Via Belle Intensement. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I kind of missed it. What else do I have here? Anything interesting? Black Opium, Idol, Red Temptation, <laughs> some other Zara's, Victoria's Secret Bombshell. That's also nice. I will pick it out in the summer for sure. This is Angel Summer. I keep this and put it out in the summer. But I will get out the Eau Croisier 2020 or even 2021. Can't remember. Yes, I think if I have space, I will um, put this out as well. It's a Rihanna nude, which I really love, but it's also very summery. So I think these go back in. There's Elisa, Girl of Now. I really like it, but it's so super sweet. I must be in the mood for it, and I'm. I have so many other nice ones. I'm rarely in the mood for it. So this goes back in. I'm tempted to keep this out. I pulled this out of my decluttered ones. Hmm. It's, it smells like Fanta to me, and it's got a cinnamon note, and it's got vanilla. It's very unusual. I think I keep this out as well. So I'm gonna tidy this mess and put all the new ones in here. And that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!